And joining us now is Father Michael Hannafin. He's the National Chaplain of the National Catholic Committee on Scouting. Thank you so much for being with us. It's a pleasure. Uh, maybe if you could start off by uh, telling us a little bit about your role as the National Chaplain. Well, to be the National Chaplain is to be a part of the kind of the spiritual life of the National Catholic Committee on Scouting. We are a Catholic organization. We are a church committee. We don't, you know, we work with the Boy Scouts of America, but we're not apart. We're a separate, separate entity from the, um, from the Boy Scouts of America. So my role is to, you know, provide spiritual guidance and uh, encouragement, not just to the lay people, but also to uh, with the priests and uh, seminarians and deacons that work with the Catholic Committee on Scouting, National Catholic Committee on Scouting. And talk about, uh, we were just talking a little bit beforehand, but you have a long uh, relationship uh, with scouting too. And uh, talk about your experience with scouting, how, you, how it's helped you, and how you know, scouting can be of great assistance to young boys as they get older. Well, it's interesting about the Boy Scouts of America. You can take a person out of scouting, but you can't take the scouting out of the person. You know, so it's uh, something that sticks with you <laughs> long after you're gone. And of course, I wasn't uh, during my seminary formation and seminary years. I wasn't that involved in scouting. But after I got ordained, it wasn't too long after that I reengaged in scouting. So a uh, lifelong uh, scout um, since when I was eight years old, a Cub Scout. Yeah. Also um, an Eagle Scout, a member of the Order of the Arrow on Vigil Honor, did the chapter chief kind of thing with the Order of the Arrow. So um, I think for me, it has helped me to, um, well, uh, to be, one of the nice things about scouting is it builds leadership skills, teaches you how to solve problems. And I think that's one of the things that scouting has helped me to do, especially as a pastor in a parish. So much of what I've learned in scouting has helped me to be a good shepherd to the people in Costa Mesa, California. And in scouting, a lot of people know it's, it's a service, it's a faith as well. And, and talk about that too, the importance of having those two elements and, and having the Catholic committee to be able to sort of steer scouts that way. One of the things about being a Christian is to be a generous person, to give of oneself in service to other, in imitation of Jesus Christ, Christ who came to serve rather than to be served to give his life. And I think that's one of the things that scouting teaches a, uh, a young person is to give back. Not just to be constantly receiving, but giving, you know, making the world a better place as a result of your presence. You know, so I think that kind of doves well, uh, uh, dovetails well with, uh, with um, the Catholic Church. And I know you've only been in the position for a little bit now as the national chaplain. A couple of years. Yeah. Um, what's it been like to you to experience uh, some of the other chaplains that you oversee and, and you know, having them come report back to you and, and, and get a feel for what they're going through and in their relationships with scouts in their, in their particular regions? Well, uh, being in the, the national chaplain, I think there are two things here that I, I think is important. One of, us, one of them is that there are chaplains as well from other faiths, and so I am able to work with people of Protestant and uh, other religions as well, uh, those faiths, and um, uh, to share, we should ha have a common ministry in scouting, you know, serving youth. And when you're a chaplain in a sense, you, especially at, at scouting events, even though you're a Catholic, who's a chaplain, you're a chaplain to all people. You know, so and maybe the first time many of those people have ever had, a, uh, young people have ever had a chance to encounter a Catholic priest, which is cool. Uh, my relationship with uh, my fellow priests, uh, one of the things that I do with them, of course, is offer encouragement, um, direction. But uh, we have no, a number of programs in the, the Boy, uh, with Boy Scouts of America. Our St. George Trek, we recruit a number of priests and seminarians to go hiking with kids, you know. National Jamboree, we uh, serve uh, the Catholic um, participants in the National Jamboree. We have a big mass, we have daily masses, we do the sacraments, uh, perform the sacraments uh, at, those, at the Jamboree. You know, we have a national camp in New Mexico called uh, Philmont. And uh, we have a Catholic chaplaincy there. There's a Catholic presence there. So my job is to encourage an, uh, our participation, the, the Catholic priest's pres presence as Catholic chaplains at Philmont. So we, and then of course we have a, t a course called Scouting in the Catholic Church course that we offer there. 
and when priests go uh, come to that to that workshop, you know, for the week, you know, my job is to engage them and uh, try to see how we can uh, bring them deeper into the ministry of scouting. And encourage other priests and, and deacons to be chaplains as, as you uh, go on in your, your ministry. It's hard because priests today are very busy and they are stretched, you know, so it's, uh, you know, we have to kind of work within our own uh, demands and our, our parochial demands uh, to do this scouting. We don't get paid to do it. We do it out of the goodness of our hearts. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Thank and, you very much. And sharing some of your experience and, and your position as national chaplain.